in the heart of an ancient village, nestled deep within a frost-covered forest, lived a weathered hunter named Gabriel. At the age of 50, Gabriel had spent his entire life in this secluded place, relying on his skills and the bounties of the wilderness to sustain himself. He was a man of few words, his rugged features etched with the marks of countless winters endured. The village, once bustling with life, now lay in the grip of the frigid season. Snowflakes danced in the air, and a bone-chilling wind whispered through the trees. The villagers, few in number, huddled within the warmth of their homes, sharing tales of the supernatural that echoed through the long nights. Gabriel, undeterred by tales of the unknown, ventured out into the wintry wilderness. He knew the importance of his hunts, not only for his own survival, but also to provide for the community during these harsh times. Clad in furs and armed with a trusty rifle, he treaded through the snow-laden paths, his breath visible in the cold air. As Gabriel ventured deeper into the forest, the silence enveloped him like a thick blanket. The trees stood tall, their skeletal branches reaching towards the grey sky. The crunch of his boots echoed through the stillness, a stark contrast to the eerie quietude of the winter landscape. He scanned the surroundings, his keen eyes searching for any trace of movement or signs of prey. Suddenly, a rustle in the underbrush caught Gabriel's attention. His senses heightened as he cautiously approached the source of the sound. Through a thicket of bare branches, he spotted a deer, its majestic form standing against the backdrop of a snowy clearing. It was a stroke of luck, a chance to secure a much-needed meal for himself and the village. Eager to make his kill, Gabriel steadied his rifle, his calloused fingers gripping the cold metal. As he aimed at the deer, a peculiar sensation washed over him. The forest seemed to hold its breath, as if aware of an impending disturbance. Unsettled, Gabriel hesitated for a moment, his finger resting lightly on the trigger. Should Gabriel take the shot and secure his prey, or should he heed the unsettling atmosphere that surrounds him? With the deer slung over his broad shoulders, Gabriel trudged through the snow, his mind preoccupied with thoughts of the mysterious footprints he had discovered. The weight of the animal seemed to grow heavier with each passing step, for curiosity fueled his determination to unravel the secret behind the peculiar tracks. As he made his way back to his humble abode, the village lay dormant, blanketed in a wintry stillness. The warmth of his home beckoned him, promising respite from the biting cold. Yet the enigma of the footprints lingered in his thoughts, refusing to be ignored. Upon reaching his cabin, Gabriel gently laid the deer on a wooden table its lifeless eyes staring into the distance. A flickering fire crackled in the hearth, casting a soft glow that danced upon the rustic walls. Determined, he shed his heavy outer layers and settled into a worn leather armchair. His mind raced back to the stories his father had shared, tales of the legendary giant deer that had once roamed these lands. His father, a wise hunter, had chronicled peculiar sightings and recorded them in meticulous detail. Gabriel's heart quickened 
as he recalled the old box in the basement where his father's notes were kept. Descending into the depths of the cabin, Gabriel's footsteps echoed in the quietness. He located the weathered box, its corners worn from time's embrace. Carefully lifting the lid, he revealed a treasure trove of faded pages filled with handwritten accounts of cryptic phenomena. Gabriel's eyes scanned the faded ink, searching for any mention of the mysterious footprints he had encountered. The words of his father seemed to come alive, recounting tales of massive creatures that defied logic and explanation. The descriptions matched the enormity of the tracks, confirming that he was not alone in witnessing such an anomaly. Determined to uncover the truth, Gabriel resolved to delve deeper into the lore and legends surrounding these mythical beasts. He would consult the village elders, seek out ancient texts, and venture into the unexplored corners of the forest all in pursuit of answers that lay beyond the realm of ordinary understanding. With newfound purpose, Gabriel closed the lid of the box, his heart brimming with anticipation. The fire in his eyes mirrored the flames that danced in the hearth as he vowed to unlock the secrets hidden within the vast wilderness. Little did he know that his quest for knowledge would plunge him into a realm where the boundaries of reality blurred and the truest mysteries would be revealed. In the cold night, Gabriel sat in his rocking chair, engrossed in his father's notes, as he delved into the stories of the village's enigmatic past a peculiar voice emanated from the forest, a voice unknown to Gabriel, yet one that carried an air of mystery and intrigue. Though it piqued his curiosity, Gabriel remained calm, pondering the implications of this unexpected occurrence throughout the night. Setting foot on the path leading into the forest, Gabriel breathed in the crisp morning air. The familiar surroundings seemed different now, as if cloaked in an aura of anticipation. Undeterred, he forged ahead, guided by a mix of apprehension and courage. The forest welcomed him with an orchestra of natural sounds, birds chirping, leaves rustling, and the distant murmur of a flowing stream. Gabriel moved stealthily, his senses attuned to every nuance of the wilderness. The sun's rays filtered through the canopy, casting a gentle glow upon the forest floor. With each stride, Gabriel felt a connection to the ancient tales embedded in his memory. The legends of the giant deer narrated by his father resurfaced, fueling his resolve. He knew that the answers he sought lay within the depths of this ancient woodland. As he ventured deeper, the forest whispered its own secrets. The breeze played melodies through the foliage, and rays of sunlight danced upon the verdant tapestry. Gabriel remained steadfast, focused solely on his mission to uncover the truth behind the voice and the enigma of the giant deer. At last, through a clearing, he caught sight of his quarry, majestic and imposing, just as the legends foretold. The giant deer stood tall, its regal form exuding an aura of tranquility. Gabriel's heart swelled with a mixture of awe and reverence as he observed the creature in its natural habitat. Raising his rifle, 
Gabriel took a moment to steady his breath and steady his aim. He understood the significance of this moment. The outcome would shape not only his own fate, but also that of the village. With unwavering determination, he aligned his sights, ready to take the shot that would either unravel the mysteries or deepen the enigma. But what lies beyond the pull of the trigger? Will Gabriel's pursuit of truth lead to enlightenment or plunge him into an even greater riddle? The forest holds its breath, its ancient wisdom holding the key to the next chapter of Gabriel's extraordinary journey. As Gabriel carefully positioned himself, readying his aim, fate intervened with an unexpected twist. A small branch beneath his foot snapped, its echoing crack piercing the tranquility of the forest. In that moment, the giant deer's acute senses detected the intrusion, and with a thunderous roar, it charged toward Gabriel, its massive antlers poised for battle. Caught off guard, Gabriel swiftly reacted, his instincts kicking into high gear. Dodging the first onslaught, he rolled to the side, narrowly evading the razor-sharp antlers that would have spelled his demise. Adrenaline surged through his veins as he scrambled to his feet, his eyes locked onto the fierce beast before him. The forest became a battleground, both predator and prey locked in a life and death struggle. Gabriel maneuvered with agility, his movements calculated and precise. With each parry and counter, he fought to maintain his ground, his determination unyielding. The giant deer unleashed its fury, its powerful hooves pounding the earth, sending vibrations through the air. Gabriel, fueled by a mix of fear and resolve, retaliated with every ounce of strength he possessed. His trusty rifle became an extension of his being, delivering well-aimed shots that struck true. The clash between man and beast reverberated through the trees, the sounds of grunts and exertion merging with the symphony of nature. Leaves rustled, birds scattered, and the forest bore witness to this extraordinary duel of survival. Time seemed to stand still as Gabriel and the giant deer engaged in an intricate dance of strength and strategy. Their paths intertwined, each maneuver dictating the next. Gabriel's dagger gleamed in the filtered sunlight, a last resort in the face of the relentless assault. The battle waged on, neither Gabriel nor the giant deer showing signs of relenting. Their wills clashed, their determination unyielding. Gabriel's mind raced, analyzing every move, seeking an opportunity to gain the upper hand. Sweat trickled down his brow, mingling with the dust of the forest floor. With a final surge of energy, Gabriel seized an opening, a momentary distraction that allowed him to deliver a precise strike. His dagger found its mark, sinking deep into the giant deer's flank. The majestic creature staggered, its strength waning. In that moment, a profound realization washed over Gabriel. The giant deer, once a mysterious entity, was now a fallen adversary. As the forest fell silent, Gabriel stood victorious, his breath ragged and his heart filled with a mix of triumph and respect. With reverence, Gabriel knelt beside the fallen giant deer, his hand gently caressing its weathered fur. The battle had come to an end, but the mysteries that unfolded in the forest were far from resolved. 
Gabriel's quest for truth had taken an unexpected turn, and the journey ahead promised even greater revelations. As he contemplated the consequences of this encounter, Gabriel understood that he held a pivotal role in unraveling the secrets that lay hidden within the forest depths. With the giant deer as his guide, he would delve further into the enigma that had haunted the village for generations. What discoveries await Gabriel as he embarks on the next phase of his extraordinary journey? Will he find the answers he seeks, or will the forest reveal even more profound mysteries? The path ahead is shrouded in uncertainty, but Gabriel remains resolute, ready to embrace the challenges that lie ahead. With the giant deer defeated, Gabriel stood amidst the quietude of the forest, contemplating the significance of his triumph. The village, once plagued by fear, would now find solace in the knowledge that the malevolent force had been vanquished. Gabriel's courage and determination had not only saved his home, but also bestowed upon him a newfound purpose. Returning to the village, Gabriel carried with him the remains of the giant deer, a testament to his victory and a symbol of the mysteries that had unraveled. The villagers greeted him with a mixture of awe and gratitude, their eyes filled with hope and curiosity. They marveled at the sight of the fallen creature, their fears slowly dissipating, replaced by a sense of wonder. And one day, when Gabriel woke up from a night's rest, the room was cast in an eerie gray light. And as he approached the window, he discovered that the world outside was still cloaked in the muted hues of dawn. No rays of sunlight pierced the sky, shrouding everything in an unsettling atmosphere. As Gabriel opened the curtains, his eyes were immediately drawn to a distant figure amidst the dense trees. It stood tall and majestic, a silhouette that seemed to defy the boundaries of nature. It was a deer, larger than any he had encountered before. Its presence commanded reverence, emanating an aura of ancient wisdom and power. A realization struck Gabriel like a bolt of lightning. The giant deer he had fought so valiantly was not a true guardian of the forest. Instead, it appeared to have been a small female, a mere precursor to the immense male deer that now captured his attention. Thank you.